Hi, I'm going to show you how to add events to the WordPress event calendar using the events plugin. So, the first thing that you, that you want to do is go ahead and log into the Tradecraft website. You can do that by going to tradecraft.is and then wp-admin. If you're not already logged in, it will ask you to enter your user details. And if you are logged in, you will be redirected to this screen, which is your main WordPress dashboard. So all of our event details are stored in the events location in the dashboard's left-hand side. And this is where your main navigation is for pretty much everything, including your posts and everything else. So as you can see, we have one event listed and I am going to show you briefly what it looks like so that you can get a sense of what we're doing. So this is our Tradecraft events here and you can see we have the event title, the date and time, the event description here, and then what the plugin does is it auto populates everything else that you need with the forms that you're going to see here in a minute and you can export the event to Google Calendar and iCal and you'll get this Google Map and everything else automatically. So again, you'll see that title, the description, which is that long description here at the top. And then as you scroll down, you'll see the custom forms that enable you to fill in these gray boxes here. So start time, location, website, currency, or for if we want to charge for the event, and that's all that you have to worry about other than the tags and the event category, which I will show you here in a minute. So you'll want to go to events, add new event, and then I'm just going to write test awesome secret event. This is the best thing you'll ever attend and this is going to be your title this is going to be your excerpt and if it's an all-day event use click here but likely we're going to be test doing mostly not all-day events so we're calling this October 1st we're going to start at let's sleep in let's start at 1 p.m. and finish it at 3 p.m. because we don't want to waste our day. Um, and if you are using a venue that you have already been to, say we want to go to Tribeca Grand again, you can use that, use Save Venue. But if it's not a venue that's saved, so, you know, Tribeca Grand, and it would fill out all that stuff. Uh, use New Venue, you do a name, let's say um, Secret warehouse and the address is um what's cool 100 west broadway new york united states that's 10012 uh we'll make tradecraft the website if you want to show the google map and the link you can do that and then if it's Tradecraft as our organizer, I'm going to say that we did that. Or if you're a new organizer, you can say, you know, Elevate. Although they wouldn't do something this cool. So we just keep it at Tradecraft. The event website is Tradecraft. The cost, we're going to be high rollers. It's going to be $1 million. And the category, let's say this is... Um, an educational event. Um, generally, let's not add categories that much because we want to keep it pretty minimal. Um, but tags, so you'll want to do one or two categories. Uh, usually it's one unless it's a tradecraft event, in which case it would be two. Um, tags, Secret, you know, three to five tags generally is what we want to do. Um, mixer, or actually, no, I said educational, so education, whatever. 
So warehouse, that's three tags. And then if you want to hide it from our list, you can do that. Or if it's one of ours, then you'll want a calendar view. And then if you want an image, you could set a featured image by doing that. Um, you can choose for some, from something in the library, or if you want to upload your own, you can find it in your hard drive. And I want this person, so you just drag it in. Wait for it to load. Call it something, warehouse event, both in the title and in the alt text. Set your featured image, make sure it appears, and click publish or save draft if you want to like check it out before, but I feel pretty good about this. And then it will say event published or draft saved, view draft or view event. So I just wanted to show it in a new tab. So this is our test awesome secret event, October 1st from 1 to 3 p.m. for, oh, I only did it for $100,000. That's our huge image, it's probably too big. The description, the best thing you'll ever attend. If you wanna add it to your Google Calendar, it automatically saved there. You don't have to test any of that functionality. Um, that's, or review it, because that will always, it's just programmatic. Sorry, my, my internet is slow here. And then here are the general details and the venue, and that's it. Again, you'll see that the event also showed up in the event list, which could be viewed as a calendar um, and if we move to October BAM there's your event we have a little tiny preview on hover and someone can search for events as well if you want if someone is wondering and that's it that's how you add events I'm going to go ahead and move this event to the trash because it's not happening. And again, that's the event list to add a new event, event add new, and then just fill out the forms and check it out. If you have any issues or questions, feel free to reach out and hope you're having a good one. Thanks.